The alligator snapping turtle is the heaviest freshwater turtle in the world. It is often associated with, but not closely related to, the common snapping turtle, which are in the genus Chlydra. The epithet Teminkia is in honor of Dutch zoologist Kienrud Jacob Temink. Although it was once believed to be only one species, a recent study suggests that it is actually three separate species. Macrotulis Teminkia, Macrotulis suniensis, and Macrotulis apalachicolo. Distribution and habitat The alligator snapping turtle is found primarily in southeastern United States waters. They are found from East Texas east to the Florida Panhandle, and north to southeastern Kansas, Missouri, southeastern Iowa, western Illinois, southern Indiana, western Kentucky, and western Tennessee. They are found on the Missouri River at least as far north as the Gavin Point Dam, the southernmost dam on the Missouri River at Yankton, South Dakota and are featured in the Gavin's Point Dam Aquarium. Typically, only nesting females will venture onto open land. Description The alligator snapping turtle is characterized by a large, heavy head, and a long, thick shell with three dorsal ridges of large scales, giving it a primitive appearance reminiscent of some of the plated dinosaurs. They can be immediately distinguished from the common snapping turtle by the three distinct rows of spikes and raised plates on the carapace, whereas the common snapping turtle has a smoother carapace. They are a solid gray, brown, black or olive green in color, and often covered with algae. They have radiating yellow patterns around their eyes, serving to break up the outline of the eyes to keep the turtle camouflaged. Their eyes are also surrounded by a star-shaped arrangement of fleshy, filamentous eyelashes. Though not verified, a 183 kg alligator snapping turtle was found in Kansas in 1937, but the largest verifiable one is debatable. One weighed at the Shade Aquarium in Chicago was a 16-year resident giant alligator snapper weighing 113 a kg, sent to the Tennessee State Aquarium as part of a breeding loan in 1999, where it subsequently died. Another weighing 107 a kg was housed at the Brookfield Zoo in suburban Chicago. They generally do not grow quite that large. Breeding maturity is attained at around 16 a kg when the length is around 38 cm, but then they continue to grow through life. Adult alligator snapping turtles generally range in carapace length from 40.4 to 80.8 cm and weigh from 68 to 80 kg. Males are typically larger than females. Among extant freshwater turtles, only the little-known giant softshell turtles of the genera Chitra, Raphatus, and Plotulis, native to Asia, reach comparable sizes. In mature specimens, males and females can be differentiated by the position of the cloaca from the carapace and the thickness of the tail's base. A mature male's cloaca extends beyond the carapace edge, a female's is placed exactly on the edge if not nearer to the plastron. The base of the tail of the male is also thicker as compared to females because of the hidden reproductive organs. The inside of the turtle's mouth is camouflaged and it possesses a vermiform appendage on the tip of its tongue used to lure fish, a form of pecarmian mimicry. The turtle hunts by lying motionless in the water with its mouth wide open. The vermiform tongue imitates the movements of a worm, luring prey to the turtle's mouth. The mouth is then closed with tremendous speed and force, completing the ambush. Contrary to claims that alligator snapping turtles possess one of the strongest bite force of any animal, it has been recorded at 158 AA plus or minus A18 a kilogram force, which is lower than several other species of turtles and at about the same level as humans, relative to the turtle's body size. Still, these turtles must be handled with extreme care and considered potentially dangerous. This species can bite through the handle of a broom and rare cases have been reported where human fingers have been cleanly bitten off by the species. No human deaths have been reported to have been caused by alligator snapping turtles. Diet Alligator snappers are opportunistic feeders that are almost entirely carnivorous. They rely on both live food caught by themselves and dead organisms which they scavenge. In general, they will eat almost anything they can catch. Fishermen have glorified the species' ability to catch fish and to deplete fish populations whereas in fact they largely target any abundant and easily caught prey, 
and rarely have any extensive deleterious effect on fish populations. Their natural diets consist primarily of fish and fish carcasses, mollusks, carrion, and amphibians, but they are also known to eat snakes, crayfish, worms, water birds, aquatic plants, and other turtles. In one study conducted in Louisiana, 79.8% of the stomach contents of adult alligator snapping turtles was found to be composed of other turtles. This species may also, on occasion, prey on aquatic rodents, including nutrias and muskrats or even snatch small to mid-sized other mammals, including squirrels, opossums, raccoons, and armadillos when they attempt to swim or come to the water's edge. Alligator snapping turtles seemingly most often hunt at night. They may also hunt diurnally, however. By day, they may try to attract fish and other prey by sitting quietly at the bottom of murky water and let their jaws hang open to reveal their tongues, which look like small, pink, worm-like lures in the back of their grey mouths, and literally lure the prey into striking distance. Small fish, such as minnows, are often caught in this way by younger alligator snapping turtles, whereas adults must eat a greater quantity per day and must forage more actively. Though not a regular food source for them, adult alligator snappers have even been known to kill and eat small American alligators. In captivity, they may consume almost any kind of meat provided, including beef, chicken, and pork. They will refuse to eat if exposed to extreme temperatures. In captivity, Alligator snapping turtles have also been known to consume feeder goldfish, such as an alligator snapper caught by Bass Pro Shops founder John L. Morris and Bill Dance on the Trinity River in Texas and on display at the store's largest location in Springfield, Missouri. Reproduction and lifespan, maturity is reached at around 12 years of age. Mating takes place yearly, in early spring in the southern part of their total range, and later spring in the north. The female builds a nest and lays a clutch of 10 a euro 50 eggs about two months later. The gender of the young depends on the temperature at which the eggs are incubated. Nests are typically excavated at least 50 yards from the water's edge to prevent them from being flooded and drowned. Incubation takes from 100 to 140 days, and hatchlings emerge in the early fall. Though their potential lifespans in the wild are unknown, Alligator snapping turtles are believed to be capable of living to 200 years of age, but 80 to 120 is more likely. In captivity, they typically live between 20 and 70 years. Under human care, alligator snapping turtles are sometimes captive bred as pets and are readily available in the exotic animal trade. Due to their potential size and specific needs, they do not make particularly good pets for any but the most experienced aquatic turtle keepers. They prefer to feed on live fish which they catch with their special technique, but would readily feed on other types of meat or leafy vegetables if offered. Hand feeding is dangerous. Extreme temperatures are known to affect the turtle's appetite and would result in the turtle refusing to feed until it has been remedied. Due to their sheer size, handling adult specimens can pose significant problems. Small turtles can be held by the sides of the shell with relative safety, but large individuals must be held by grasping the turtle's shell just behind the head and in front of the tail. Despite their reputation, they are typically not prone to biting, but if provoked are quite capable of delivering a bite with their powerful jaws which can cause significant harm to a human, easily amputating fingers. Some states where alligator snapping turtles do not naturally occur prohibit them from being kept as pets by residents. Invasive species, some alligator snapping turtles were released or escaped into waters of the Czech Republic and Germany. In Bavaria one turtle caused injury of a child, but was not caught. In Bohemia four turtles of this species have been caught. Both countries have strong laws against keeping alligator snapping turtles without permission. Both are member states of EU, which has laws against invasive species. Conservation status, because of collection for the exotic pet trade, over-harvesting for their meat, and habitat destruction, some states have imposed bans on collecting alligator snapping turtles from the wild, but they are not an endangered species. The IUCN lists it as a threatened species, and as of June 14, 2006, 
it was afforded some international protection by being listed as a site's three species. The alligator snapping turtle is now endangered in several states, including Kentucky, Indiana, Illinois, and Missouri where they are protected by state law. In October 2013, one was found in the Prineville Reservoir in Oregon. It was captured and euthanized by the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife, which considers alligator snapping turtles to be an invasive species. It was the first found in the state. References External links Alligator vs. Common Snapping Turtle Eurochlydra.org, Alligator Snapping Turtle Care Sheet, Crunch, The Alligator Snapping Turtle, 1.